Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now this is a video that I haven't done for quite a while and it's a haul video. Yes, I have bought a lot of stuff. Normally when it comes to buying clothes I don't usually buy a load in one go. I normally just buy the odd thing here and there when I need it. So for example like if a pair of jeans like gets ruined or whatever I will buy a new pair of jeans. But I've started a new job. Yay, for new job. <laughs> now, the job that I had beforehand, the dress code was as long as you don't wear anything that's unsafe or offensive, you can kind of wear what you want. So, I could deal with going in with jeans and a t-shirt, which is what I had quite a lot of. But, before my new job, it's quite a bit more smart. And, um... I realised that although I had a few smart shirts, I didn't have a lot and I wanted it to be sort of on a rotation and I didn't want to wear the same shirt within the week, I wanted a bit of variety. So I went to buy some shirts. Then I got a little bit carried away. So everything I bought was on eBay because I wanted to kind of get something that was not very expensive, wasn't going to cost the earth and was going to get here quite quickly so I just went up and had a browse on eBay. While I was having a browse on eBay, I got very, very carried away because obviously eBay is very cheap, a lot of people are selling bundles of stuff and whatever, so I ended up buying a lot more than I intended to and a lot of it is not relevant to work anymore. <laughs> Here we go. So yeah, this is definitely a lot more clothes than I intended to buy and it's definitely a lot more than I needed. The great thing about eBay is a lot of the stuff I've got is either new or like hardly used. So they were selling as new or like new. Uh, maybe there was a couple of very great conditions in there, but most of the stuff is new. And I got it really cheap. There's a few sort of designer stuff in there, which I got really excited about when I saw them because they were just going so cheap. I think it's probably because they were like purchased and they're now out of season. But for me, that doesn't matter and it's quite nice to have some designer stuff as well. So, I thought I will go through what I've got and you can see it. So first is a pair of jeans. I mean, it's pretty standard. Uh, these are actually Tommy Hilfiger jeans, which I got really nice. I needed a pair of jeans because a pair that I've got has now got a load of holes in it and it's getting quite old. So I needed a new pair of jeans to sort of replace them anyway. So I actually did need these. I didn't need to get a designer pair, but I've got a designer pair. So here are the jeans. And ta-da. <laughs> these are actually quite big. Look, look at that. Jesus Christ. I've not lost that much weight, despite the fact that it looks like it. <laughs> but it's fine. The length is good. The jeans feel really soft for jeans actually, they don't feel like jeans but I mean I'm not really bothered the fact that they're too big around the waist I'll just stick a belt on it's the annoying thing about sizes everywhere is that nothing is consistent you go to one place you're a 32 waist to go somewhere else you're a 36 waist it makes no sense because it's a measurement in inches so it should be the same but it's not so anyway I got these as a 34 because the last pair of trousers I bought at a 32 did not fit so I bought a 34 this time and they're too big but never mind belts are amazing they do wonders and also I suppose it means that if I do put on some weight I can still wear the jeans so it's nice to have a bit of variety so yeah nice comfy I cannot get over how comfy these jeans are I know it seems weird me just sort of like touching my legs. <laughs> I would say touching myself, but that just feels even worse. Touching my legs. But, my god. These are probably my new favourite jeans. Way to go, Tommy Hilfiger. You've won me over. In one item as well. I haven't even tried your other stuff one yet, but... Oh well. Okay, so... These are not jeans. They are jean shorts. I do not own a single pair of jean shorts at all. I've got a few shorts, but not many. I know I don't need these now because it's pretty much cold weather and winter, but I will need shorts at some point and since I was kind of on a roll I bought some shorts. 
So these are cross hatch and they're actually new, so they've still got the tag on. So brand new cross hatch pair of short jeans. Ugh. Jesus Christ, this is an issue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so this is not <laughs> this is not working. <laughs> okay, as much as I was wanting shorts and hoping that they were baggy, I can't do them up at all. So yeah. These are also a 34 waist. And I'm here and they won't do up. <laughs> oh well. You win some, you lose some. I'm sure there'll be a pair of shorts that I can go somewhere and actually spread my legs further than that. God. If I was out in summer, I could not run in these because, like, I can't move. And the last... Oh, God. The last pair of trousers I've got, I know I didn't buy that many trousers in comparison to, like, tops, but that's normally how my ratios go. I got these. So these are actually... They're not smart trousers, but they look relatively smart. These are chinos. I've never had a pair of chinos and they are Tommy Hilfiger as well, which is quite exciting because I've got designer chinos. And I've never had chinos, but this fabric feels really sort of soft and they look relatively smart. And I thought I might be able to get away with wearing these at work so that I don't feel... Because I find that with smart suit trousers, they're quite not, not ever so very comfortable and you're very much aware that you're wearing smart trousers. So I'm hoping that these will be really, like comfy enough that I won't notice that I'm essentially wearing smart trousers. This feels better. These are a lot easier to put on than the shorts. Oh my god. And I can move. These are actually really comfy. Oh, these are so nice for possible potential work trousers. Ah, freedom to move. They're comfy, they're easy, they're nice. Damn it, who'd have thought that I would have liked chinos? Because I was really put off by the name and the fact that normally I only find them in beige. But yeah, nice pair of blue chinos. Uh. Yeah, we'll go through the shirts. So some of the shirts I've got are smart, some of them are a bit more casual, but I've got some shirts. So first of all, I've got this shirt. It's not quite the colour that I was sort of expecting. I know I bought one and it was essentially purple and white, but it's a bit softer of a colour than I thought it was, so I don't know. I mean, I reckon it'll still look good in worst case scenario, as long as it looks smart and I can use it for work. That's kind of the main job of it. Um, so yeah, so that's a shirt that I got. <laughs> shirt number one. I'll get the chinos on so you can sort of get a bit of an idea of how smart Charlie would dress. I'm not going to bother tucking it in, it's just too much effort for a non-work day, but yeah, I mean the shirt fits, that's kind of the main thing. I'm not not a huge fan of the colour, but it will add an extra shirt into my collection, which is kind of the main thing, it means I can have more shirts for work, and I mean it's not too bad, I don't feel, I don't hate it, but I just don't love it. Here, oh Jesus Christ, here's another one. This one I actually found and I got really excited by. I, I don't know why, I just think it looks like, it doesn't look ridiculously smart, but it's smart enough for work. The brand is Rocker John Rocker? Ne never heard of them. But I think the thing that excites me most is sort of, there's a little print on the inside of like the collar, so the inside actually has a fun sort of print on it, and I thought that was really quite cool. But, I mean, the colour's not bad either, and I do like stripy shirts, so this was just a, a win. This shirt definitely feels better. I think this is a bit more me, a bit more smart me, I'm going to say, because if it was a casual day, I probably wouldn't go out in this shirt, but it's nice. I do like, I do like it. It feels, it feels nice, basically. It looks better than the last one. I feel like this is a more me sort of colour. I think it kind of goes well with the trousers as well. Next, we have a Ben Sherman shirt. And I like the brand Ben Sherman. I, I normally don't have a lot of Ben Sherman -y stuff because when you buy it, it's relatively expensive because it's such a sort of top quality brand. But I got this shirt and I really like this one. I'm just hoping that it's not too. Because it's white and I've not really worn a white shirt for a very long time, so I'm hoping it's not like ever so very sort of see through because I'm very much aware that I have like 
scars and stuff on my chest and I don't want them peeking through. And then you can't really wear a t-shirt or anything underneath a white shirt because then you could just see that there's a t-shirt underneath. It's, it's all forms of confusing. So I'm hoping that this will be a nice shirt. This is quite good. This was a shirt that I was worried about because I don't usually wear white shirts because they're normally a bit see-through. I mean, it is still a bit see-through, but you can't really see through. I, I can't see can't see my scars through it, I can't even see my nipples through it, which is great because I mean I wasn't worried about my nipples showing through it because obviously guys have nipples and it's kind of expected but it was something I was a bit concerned by but I was mostly worried about my scars because they're not fully faded yet um, and I didn't want it to be obvious that they were there but no, it, it's not obvious which is great, I like the pattern, I like the feel it feels a bit thin so I think I might probably end up wearing this more during summer rather than the winter months just because I don't want to get too cold next I got two Tommy Hilfiger shirts can you tell that I'm enjoying Tommy Hilfiger at a minute um, I think it's one of those things where eBay tends to sort of recognise what you've been looking at and it's just been suggesting me loads of Tommy Hilfiger stuff and I've enjoyed getting Tommy Hilfiger so I got a basic sort of grey and white stripy shirt just because I thought it's simple, it's smart and I wanted a grey shirt, so that's that one. Ta da! Now we have Tommy Hilfiger and Tommy Hilfiger! Ah! I like this shirt. This was sort of, when I was shirt searching, that's such a weird sense, but when I was shirt searching, I wanted a shirt like this. I wanted this design, I wanted this colour. That's kind of what I set out to do. And I did it, and I love it. So this was always going to be my favourite shirt. This was always the one that I wanted. It fits quite nicely. And I love it. It's definitely such a nice shirt. I really don't know what persuaded me to want to get a grey shirt. But I just really wanted a grey shirt. And then I've also got this blue one. Which I think it'll be like smart enough for work. It's one of those things, of just because it's patterned, I worry that... What the hell? <laughs> so just because it's patterned, I worry that it's um, probably not suitable. But even so, it's a nice, it'll be a nice sort of going out type of shirt if I can't use it for work. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is the second Tommy Hilfiger shirt. I, I do love it. Um, the only thing I'm very much aware of is that I'm wearing blue chinos and a blue shirt. There is nothing not blue on me today <laughs> at this precise moment. I'm blue, double D, double die, I'm double D, double die. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very, very, I'm very, very blue. But I think it works. I, I probably wouldn't wear blue trousers with this shirt, but I mean, it's such a contrast in blues that it kind of still works. Yeah, I think this shirt works well as being like a smart enough shirt for work as well. So that's great because, to be honest, I bought it just because I really liked the design and the pattern. And I was just like, well, worst case scenario, I can always do it for like if I go out for a meal or a birthday or something and I want to look a bit more formal, but not work formal, but sort of like going out formal because there's different levels of formal now. Um, but no, I think I could still get away with wearing this to work because I mean, it's not too bad. Okay. <coughs> That's all the sort of semi work shirts done. No more work shirts. These ones are now a bit too casual to wear to work. Um, this one I got as a bundle of four, four shirts in one bundle and it didn't cost me an awful lot and I kind of snatched that offer up because you can never have too many shirts. So the first one I've got is I've got this blue checky print one, it's like small check print which is good. I'm still blue, don't worry I'm not going to do the song again, once is more than enough. These trousers really don't work because now I'm wearing a darker blue shirt so ignore the trousers completely. But as a casual show, imagine jeans. In fact, I might change into jeans. Bear with a minute. Okay, I'm back in jeans. I put my old jeans on because the other ones are too big and I didn't want to keep pulling them up every five minutes. I do like this shirt. It's nice, it's good for casual wear going off out. This is still quite a nice sort of like formal-ish one. So it's almost going out formal. It's more going out formal casual type. There's just so many levels. But yeah. It's it's nice basically is kind of the point. It's it's a good colour, it's a good fit, it's a good feel. I love it. 
with most of my water being blue, I've got the red version of it as well. So there we go, there's a little bit more colour to my shirts now. And here's the red version. Surprisingly, despite the fact of they're the same style of t-shirt, no, they're the same style of shirt, they're from the same people, the only thing that's really different is colour, but this one just doesn't feel as soft as the other one. I think they've used a different material for this. So, it doesn't feel as nice. I'm not, I don't like the colour any better than the last one. I think I preferred the colour of the last one. But it's still a nice shirt. And it goes well with these jeans compared to the other ones because these are darker jeans. So it's still a nice shirt. It just, I'm, I'm glad that it doesn't feel the same. I can feel it on my skin. I mean, that's where you're supposed to feel it. <laughs> But it's very noticeable that I'm wearing this shirt and I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the texture and the feel, but it looks good. I've also got this one. This one, I think, was the reason I actually bought this bundle. Because, I mean, look at the pattern on it. I don't know why, but I really like this sort of checked shirt. It seems to go really well with it being like the reds and the blues. If it had a bit of white in there, I think it would have been perfect, but it's good and I like it. Now this is a nice shirt. This is what I would describe more as like, I call them winter shirts because it's a bit of a thicker fabric, it's soft, it's sort of like a nice warm pattern and this is sort of feels like the shirt that you'll be sitting at home with a mug of hot chocolate, sitting by the fire, just, it feels like a, that kind of shirt. It's definitely not a summer shirt, it's too thick for a summer shirt, but it's nice, this is how winter shirts are supposed to be. Ah. Oh. I feel like this would be great in December, just a little bit before Christmas, you know, when you're getting into the Christmas spirit and you're enjoying like the mulled wine and you're having your little bits of twiglets and stuff like that, so you're really getting into Christmas season. And I think this is just sort of perfect for that, just a nice sort of sitting at home, having some mulled wine and relaxing type of shirt. This is how I feel in this shirt. Now I'm really gutted that they're not still in mulled wine yet. But it's alright, it's only a few months away, I only have to wait a few months before this shirt will come out and I'll be sipping more wine. <laughs> this is just a grey version that came with the bundle. This is probably my least favourite from the bundle, but you can't really say, oh can I have it cheaper if I leave out one shirt? And plus it's always nice to have sort of an extra anyway. But yeah, um, I think those shirts all came from Next I think, maybe a few others, but they, it's their Next shirts pretty much. And here's the final shirt from that bundle. The surprising thing was, I didn't like this shirt in the bundle, but I like it on. How weird! Just goes to show that you don't know what things are going to look like on you until you put them on. But this is really quite nice. It's definitely not a formal shirt, and for me, I always felt that if you were to get a grey shirt, it would have to be a formal shirt, so it would be like an off-white, office type wear sort of outfit. But this has worked really well, I'm actually really impressed with this feels nice. It's warm, It's kind of a thick material as well, so it's a bit sort of wintry wear, but it, it's not giving me Christmas vibes like the last one. But no, this one, it feels comfortable. I feel like this is a nice sort of chill, go out somewhere for a meal, but it's a little bit chilly type of shirt. Last shirt is a short sleeve shirt. It's only really when I was sort of, because I've got a new wardrobe, I've been going through all of my clothes and I realised I don't really have that many short sleeve shirts. I think I've only got three. And this one popped up, I was like, oh, brilliant, I could probably do with some more short sleeve shirts because it, it won't be long before summer's here. And this one is a bench shirt. It's open. Why is it open? Hold on a second. That's the shirt. I bought this purely for the pattern that is there. And it's quite a nice sort of colour. There is one thing that I'm concerned about, because when they sent it, there's a little red mark on the pocket. And I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be there, considering there's no other red anywhere else. And I can't seem to get it off, but the fact that I can't get it off makes me think that it should be there as well. But it makes no sense for it to be there. It doesn't look like a stain or anything. I don't know. But I'll try it on. Worst case scenario, it can go. But I still think it looks relatively nice. Maybe I could colour that bit in or something. And here is my last shirt. This is a definitely, a definitely out of season shirt. Um, I I haven't got a lot of short sleeve shirts. And putting this on reminds me why I don't have a lot of short sleeve shirts. It's very much I'm aware that I can feel that they are short sleeve shirts. But when it comes to sort of summertime and you want to wear a shirt, you can't really go around with a long sleeve shirt. 
but to be honest I like the design of this I feel feels nice one bit that's concerning and I'm very much noticing every time I move is there are these metal sort of bits in the shoulders so every time I move my arms I just get a brief moment of very very cold metal on my shoulder this is a really nice shirt and the thing is you don't even recognise the red stain that's on that side it's not ever very noticeable because it's a bit tucked around the side I mean it's still there and like, you probably can see it every so often but unless you knew it was there you're not actively looking in this region of my body so it's it's a bit better hidden than I expected it to be it's, it is a nice shirt it's going to be a while before I can wear it because obviously it's winter and we don't wear shirts like this in winter but you never know when it comes to maybe pride because that's always very lovely weather you might find that I'll be wearing it then I might also forget to take it with me to pride I know what I'm like but yeah this is a nice shirt and I do like Bench, they're a really nice brand and I'm excited to have a nice Bench shirt. Cool. Now, I bought a long-ish sleeved t-shirt as well because I don't have that many of those. This is actually a three quarter length sleeve one which is probably good for me because most of the time I roll my sleeves up anyway. Shirt, come on. Do -do -do. The sleeves look actually a little bit shorter than three quarter lengths. Maybe it's not quite three quarter length but even so, it's got a fun cool little pattern on it. I'm not too keen on the back because, uh, although you probably can't see it, there is a big sort of seam that goes across there. But I mean, I'm not going to be looking at my back. We're now finally onto the t-shirts round. <laughs> t-shirts round! Yay! The unexpected t-shirts that I probably shouldn't have bought, but I went and bought anyway. This one's okay. The bit I was concerned at the back, I can feel it, which is not great. If I do that, it just feels tight and I can very much feel the seam that's going along the back. I mean, these are three quarter length she sheaves. <laughs> these are three quarter length sleeves. Oh, for God's sake, these are three quarter length sleeves, so I don't know what I was expecting. Obviously, I was expecting them to be three quarters, but for some reason, when they're at the three quarter mark, it just feels uncomfortable. It feels, I'm going to say, unfinished. But considering I normally have t shirts like this, it's worked quite well because there's not as much material that bunches up at the elbow because obviously they're three quarter length, there's not much material. When I have it like this, it feels good, it feels fine, it's nice and it's comfortable, but actually having it in a three quarter length is just irritating. <laughs> I feel like it should be either to there or to there, here is not a good spot for a sleeve to finish. But no, it's a nice shirt, despite the fact of the sleeve length when they're down and the little bit at the back. It's a nice shirt, and I can get by with the bit at the back. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's only when I really do this that I notice it. If I stand up straight, which you're supposed to do, it's it's not that noticeable. It's only if I slouch. So maybe this will be great for my posture. <laughs> you never know. Next, we have, ta-da! It's a Lyle and Scott t-shirt. I do not have anything that is Lyle and Scott, so this is quite nice. And I thought it was quite a nice sort of like pastel-y type colour and. I do really like stripes, weirdly enough. I'll tell you what, I was actually quite concerned by this shirt because I thought, I don't really wear pale. I don't really wear like bright, soft colours and I was a bit worried that this might be a bit too... bright. <laughs> Lack of a bit, a bit too bright for me. I'm normally quite sort of dulled down, darker colours. But no, I actually really like it. I think it works really well. It feels nice and soft as well. This little bit here, which I thought would irritate me, because normally when you've got like patches or something sewn on, and because this obviously sticks out, I thought it would irritate me. Football shirts, for example, because obviously the badge will be sewn on, I normally find it's really irritating because it sort of rubs against that area, and it feels really rough compared to everywhere else in the shirt. But no, this is not noticeable at all. I can't even feel it. But I'm very impressed with the shirt. This is probably the most impressed by a shirt I've been because I bought it on the off chance thinking I don't know if it will work and it's, it's worked and I'm super happy about it so this shirt is a super dry shirt and I bought it because and it's kind of this weird pinky ish colour it's got a distress pattern on it and it looks really cool now I thought that was the design but I actually think it's like genuinely distressed rather than looking distressed because on the back there is sort of the remnants of what used to be a number you can tell that the number was supposed to be 68 but there's too much of it sort of faded 
so I'm actually a bit gutted by this shirt because the thing is it looks great from the front so if the 68 on the back was completely gone or a little bit distressed then it would work fine but the fact is that you've only got this little cornery bit here that had any sort of evidence that there was a number there I'm not going to try this one on purely because it's just going to go back because I'm guessing this isn't quite clearly as advertised because it's obviously used, it's obviously been used well and I'm a bit gutted because it would have been a nice t-shirt so that's that one it's just it's just gonna go back there's no point in trying it on to see if it looks nice because it's obviously it's obviously not as new as I was hoping it would be next we have another designer t-shirt so this is actually crosshatch so it says on the back Osaka which is in Japan so because it's in Japan I originally thought that it could be super dry looking at the back but it's not it's actually crosshatch so I do like crosshatch I find their patterns are sort of a little bit dramatic and out there along with super dry their patterns are a bit out there as well so here's the unexpected crosshatch shirt, crosshatch shirt. I can't speak today <laughs> this is the unexpected crosshatch shirt which I thought could be like a super dry shirt but it isn't super dry so this one I bought because I like plain t-shirts with the pockets on and also it was striped I'm a little bit gutted because the purple looked a bit better on the picture but I mean I'm still happy with it, it still works really well and it's not too sort of bright and fluorescent, it's a bit sort of blended in but yeah <laughs> it's a problem with pictures is sometimes they don't come out the way that they look as they're advertised but I'm still happy with it I tell you what, despite the fact that I was worried about the sort of like purpley bits, this works really well. And the shirt feels so soft. Like this is probably the softest shirt that I've ever had in this sort of style. Next, I got another bundle. So I purely bought this because it was a bundle and the, they looked relatively nice. But there's a bundle of three t-shirts here. So the first one is this blue stripey one. I think I would have preferred this if this was long sleeved. I don't know why, but just because of sort of the blue pan, I feel like it should be a long sleeved one. And also this neckline where it's got the buttons, I feel like it should be like a long sleeved, almost polo styled. But no, I'm I'm still relatively happy with it. It's basic, it's plain, it's simple, and that's kind of all that I really want out of a t-shirt now. I'm a, I'm kind of growing up a little bit, despite the fact that I'm wearing a fun printed one now. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I need to grow up and stop buying the comic book and cartoon type t-shirts. I need some adult stuff, so this feels relatively adult. So here's the first of the pack of three that I got. I still think this should have been a long sleeve shirt. I really would have preferred it to have been a full sleeve. I'm, I'm not too bothered. I'm not, I'm not too upset. I mean, I would have preferred it, but I'm not upset by it. I do surprisingly like this. I probably will not have it any more open than that but I am enjoying this, I feel like it gives a sense of freedom and I feel like it works really well and yeah it's actually yeah it's actually sort of quite nice I'm quite happy with it uh... here it is another one <laughs> that is pretty adult see it's just sort of like an off-white colour with these weird little blue dashes in and it's got a pocket I, I never use this pocket, I don't know why it excites me having a the pocket there, it just does. It's a functionless pocket in my mind because nothing ever goes in that pocket. I bought the bundle mostly for this t-shirt just because it's simple, it's nice, it's it's, a, it's like having a white t-shirt that's not a white t-shirt. It's got a little bit more fun to it. So this was a shirt that I bought the bundle for. I do still like it, I just don't like it as much as I loved it when I saw it. I don't know if it's because it's on me. <laughs> it's still a nice shirt. It's still nice to have a sort of semi off whitey, nice bright kind of shirt. It'd be good for summer, especially if I've got like bright shorts on or something like that. But no, I'm not in love with it as much as I was when it was on the internet. It's still good, but I'm just not, just not loving it. Then the final thing that came in the bundle, this is a bit more, it's got a print on it basically. So it's not quite as plain as all of the others. But I mean, it's it's not childlike either, so I'd still feel grown up 
wearing this and it's quite nice and this is this is the last one from the bundle I probably should have specified that this is the last one from the bundle now this was a shirt that I I didn't want did not want it but it was included in the bundle and I thought well I might as well have it worst case scenario I'll like sell it on or something or give it to someone but I'm actually liking it more than I thought I would I think I like the colour more than the print on the front but it's, it's quite a nice colour and I, I think I'll actually keep it <laughs> I'm quite pleasantly surprised with this so that's that bundle it's, it's pretty sweet right it's a pretty sweet bundle this one I never buy yellow but it doesn't look very yellow from your angle but I don't buy yellow but this is a grey and yellow and it's got sort of like a built in collar that, that makes it look like you've got a t-shirt underneath and um, I don't know I just thought it was a nice shade of yellow and I like the fact that it's with the grey it sort of make it works really well and I don't feel like I'm jumping way too far into the yellow because it's just sort of like a little nice phase into wearing yellow in your day okay so here is my step gradual miniature step into the world of yellow I don't hate it <laughs> it's probably because predominantly it's grey but no I, I quite like the style of the shirt I think the grey and the yellow work together I really like this sort of undershirt little collary bit I'll tell you what it's good I feel like this was a good step not that I'm like transitioning into loving yellow just because I, I don't own anything yellow and I felt like it was time I felt like it was time to have a little bit of yellow in my life and uh here it is, it's my very very mild minor tiny little bit of yellow. This one is kind of what I'm going to say is more like a safety t-shirt for me. So my sort of two safety, well I've got three safety colours now, but my top two safety colours are blue and black, hence black, and almost all of my shirts are blue. Um, I'm now phasing into white, which is good. Before surgeries and stuff I would never wear white. So this is a bit of a safety shirt and I bought it because I liked it pretty much but look ta-da that's the problem with eBay is like a lot of clothes you get have got freaking creases and stuff in it so this is like a nice blue polo it feels ever so very light the fabric is really soft there is a fun little print and a pocket on this side as well the thing I don't like is they've put buttons on the shoulder I don't know what it is but I kind of have this weird I wouldn't say phobia but dislike to buttons especially when they're functionless pointless buttons as well because it does bother me a little bit but otherwise the shirt is great it's nice this button is fine I don't know why like having a button on a pointless pocket I'm okay with but when they're in a place where buttons should not be it, it's not good I'll tell you what this is quite a nice shirt not just because of the colour I mean it's definitely a safety colour for me but it just feels so soft oh I feel like this is almost made out of baby clothes. You know, where they're just really sort of soft because they're sensitive skin and stuff. And stiff. <laughs> My God, can you tell I'm a bit tired today? Yeah, it just feels sort of smooth. It's great because I do have very mild sensitive skin. I love clothes that are soft. You can just sort of like, just sort of feel like you're getting a nice gentle hug. And then you can just sort of chill whilst being hugged by a t-shirt. Next t-shirt. Oh. This doesn't quite feel as nice as I thought it would. It's got a big print on it. It's from Bench. Bench tend to do... They do quite a lot of big prints. Ta-da! So, I mean, it, it's a good design. I like the picture because it's essentially of a street and stuff. I'm just worried because it doesn't feel nice. Maybe it won't feel that nice on. I like the style. Maybe I'll like it a lot when it's on that I won't mind if it feels uncomfortable. Or maybe it won't feel uncomfortable on the inside. I don't know. We'll see. It doesn't feel as rough on the inside as I thought it would. It's not comfortable. It's not as, It's not soft like some of the other shirts I've been trying on where you feel like you're getting hugged. It's a little bit... Oh, I'm trying to think of a way to describe it. You know if you've washed something so many times and it loses its softness because it's wearing away? It feels a bit like that. It's not unbearable. It's just not comfy. But I... Ah, oh, the... I'm torn. It doesn't feel as comfy as I'd want it to, but it looks so good. <laughs> Last t-shirt, and this is a very bright t-shirt for me. It's still blue, unfortunately. So it's, it's still a safety colour, but it's like a very bright, vibrant blue. And um, it's a Henley's t-shirt. And 
for me, I'd say Henley's is a, a little bit similar to Crosshatch in sort of style and stuff. And I think this is a really cool, nice, funky print t-shirt. And it's also sort of bright enough that I won't be sticking with the same basic palette of colours. So that's why I got this one. Plus it was cheap. That's kind of the main theme about these clothes at the minute, is they were cheap. Like, I kid you not, I think I probably paid maybe about 40 quid for the entire bundle, maybe even less. Like, there, there was practically nothing, the money I spent on this. I feel like all this t-shirt changing is just messing my hair up. Last t-shirt. It's a bit fluorescent -y blue. Still blue, which is a safety colour, but this is a lot more bolder of a blue than I would have. My blues are normally kind of subtle blues. And this is a very out there blue. I feel like you would notice me in this shirt. But I'll tell you what, I, I, I love it. Like, weirdly enough, it's a nice shirt. It's a very out there shirt. It's, it's not even really out there, it's just a bit out there for me. It's just sort of, look at me, I'm shining, I'm bright, I'm here. I feel surprisingly confident in this shirt. You never thought a colour would do that, but I'm feeling quite confident. And I'm probably also excited that this is my first Henley shirt, and I've wanted a Henley shirt for a very long time. And now I have one. The last thing that I got, this was a very unexpected buy. It was, I can't even remember what I was searching for for it to come up. It's kind of like a coat. It's not a thick, woolly, wintry coat, which I probably should have got, considering we're nearly in winter. But it's like a raincoat, pretty much. And um, I don't have that many coats. I almost actively refuse to wear them. I think I've got a total of two coats, now three, which is great. Um, but yeah, so I have two coats. One of them is a raincoat that's kind of... You kind of put it on, oh, so the zip doesn't go all the way. You kind of put it over, so I'd say it's like a poncho, so it's not easy for a quick get out and go. But this one is. This one will zip all of the way. And um, this is a crosshatch one. It's blue. I didn't realise it was blue when I bought it. I thought it was black and greys, but it's apparently two different shades of blue. Which I don't mind. I, st I still like it, which is great. Ta-da! So, it's nice. It's simple. It's kind of just the top shades are light blue and then the bottom shades are darker blue. But it's nice to have coats, considering most of my childhood was me never wearing or... Well, like I'd own a coat because my parents would buy me one, but I would never wear a coat. So now I have coats that I think I will wear because I I like them, and that's kind of good. Especially because we're not quite in winter yet, but it's raining an awful lot, so this will come in handy. So this is a product that I should probably shouldn't have bought, wasn't expecting to buy, but actually need. So it works out quite well. Okay, this is the last last thing. I'm just going to try it over. It's a coat. I can put it over so That's kind of its point. It's stuck on my ear. This is feeling quite nice. Yeah. Hmm. Coat. <laughs> okay, yeah, it fits. It kind of bunches up a little bit, so it's... Normally I have things down here, but this is bunched up here. That's probably how coats are supposed to be, though. So it's doing its function. Hmm. Hmm. I, I like it. I feel comfy. It's actually warmer than I thought it would be. It's got sort of insulated cuffs and stuff. And um, probably not good for winter, because I feel like this is quite thin. But it also blocks out the wind. I don't know. I might have to, I might have to test this out in December because I feel like it will be warmer than it looks. Is there a hood? There is. So here's the hood. <laughs> it's, um, it's a very big hood. To be, on <laughs> to be honest, I like that. I like having the big, big hood where you feel like a little bit sheltered. So I'm a little bit sort of stuck in this hood. But no, I, I feel like this works well. Can you believe that I got this coat? for a fiver. Five pounds! I can't remember what everything else was. It's been a lot of spending, but I remember this because it was the last thing I bought. The five pounds for this crosshatch coat. Tell you what, I am loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. We loving it like these. So yeah, 
that's my video. I am aware that the hood has kind of messed up my hair, but I don't care. It was nice trying all of this stuff on. The coat worked really well. I'm sorry it went on for so long. I wasn't expecting that much. I just felt like I had a lot to say about all my new clothes. Thank you guys for watching. What did you like out of my ensemble? What do you think didn't work? What worked surprisingly well? You've heard my opinions. What are yours? <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want. And um, I will see you again. Bye.